What's going on folks, it's DK bringing you post Christmas new custom campaign. This is created by um, David McLean. It's called Battle for New Troy. It's, it's, I think it's a very old custom campaign. Um, so I'm reading the readme file and it says, The Confederates abandoned the planet of Ilian in the face of a Zerg invasion, leaving you to defend the city of New Troy against the Zerg Swarm and the Protoss. So that's pretty much it. Um, and I'm playing in the original because it's all SCM file, so let's get this started. Mission 1 Retreat. Incoming transmission from Ilian Military Command HQ. I'm gonna pronounce it as Ilian because it reminds me of Illidan from Warcraft 3. The Zerg have begun their invasion of Alien. We do not have the resources to defend the whole of the planet, so we're pooling our forces in the eastern half of the continent. Escort the civilians east to the Confederate outpost before heading on to the rendezvous point of New Troy. Okay. Incoming transmission from Planetary Combat Station. General, alert for all commanders operating in sectors to the west of Antandros, Rotium, and Neutroid. Zerg units have been reported in these sectors. Expect light resistance. End of message. Okay. So, this first mission is actually very straightforward. You just need to escort the four civilians to, like, over here where there are the Teal Confederates. But, yeah, I, I played up to mission 2, I kind of stopped halfway through mission 2, but it's pretty straightforward. So if you go up north, there's literally a blockage there, so we're gonna avoid that. It's gotta be a short one, guys. Just aim A click, you know, just right click, move. Like how you normally do in StarCraft 2. And if you go up this ramp, it's, there's a Zerg base, which I'll show you in a little bit. Yeah, Zerg base here. And then more Zerg units here, which is blocked off. Nothing to see here, I'm just exploring the map for you guys. But then we're back to reality. And What's that's up? pretty you much it. And there's there? gonna be like yep. a flag here. Reporting in. Calling online. Yes, yes, yes. Right here, that flag. And all you need to do is just bring the civilians to that flag and you win the map. But since I haven't uploaded in a while, what I'm gonna do is thoroughly explore the map and destroy orange before I, you know, win the map. But as you can see, this this map layout, remember this map layout, guys, guys when I upload my next mission for Battle for Neutral, it's going to be the exact same layout. Because we continue right off from Mission 1. In mission two, so. Go ahead, Anyway, let's attack Orange. Well, I want to say exactly. It's close. Now, I don't know if destroying Orange will give me a victory trigger. Well, I'll test that out right now. I think we have enough units to destroy Orange. So just that. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday week. Because I kind of did, I guess. Was it too event for it? Hey, aid me, aid me. And 
I do have another custom campaign in mind. I wanted to try uh, Huntcraft. I tried downloading it because there's an English patch, but I had a little difficulty doing it. But anyway, I destroyed them. Orange building, but looks like we're not getting a victory trigger, so I'm just gonna win this map. Mission. That's it. Very straightforward. We're called the Terran Forces. We're up against the advanced party for some reason. I thought it was it was gonna be called Zerg Swarm and the Confederate Outpost, which start off as a computer AI and then it's rescuable. So. But yeah, that's it for DK, folks. It's a small one. I might upload maybe later because I'm still free. It's Saturday here. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Signing off.